Well, I felt afraid because I, I really was short of breath and I couldn't walk up the stairs in my own house. I was really not well. In general, just a feeling of fear. And my family was afraid too. They were very worried about me. The day after Christmas that night, I came to the emergency room in Northwestern. I'd had a history of AFib for several years, and it had come and gone, and I had had care here at Northwestern. They had done cardioversions, and they told me that the, there was likely an issue with the valve. Mitral valve disease is very common. Almost 2% of the population have it, so we see it a lot. It may be totally asymptomatic. It comes on slowly over years in many patients, and so they adapt to it and their body adapts to it. With the heart squeezing and the blood going backwards, people say, I get tired. I must be getting older. I'm up in my 50s or 60s. When they otherwise notice symptoms is because their lungs get congested, and so their lungs are full of fluid. So Mr. Clinton also had a history of atrial fibrillation, which is an area regular heartbeat from the upper chambers, the atria. The atria are supposed to contract about 70 times a minute, your normal heartbeat, but instead they're just fibrillating or quivering, and so you can form a blood clot. It could break off and cause a stroke. A lot of people have atrial fib before they go through mitral valve surgery. So we've faced this problem for years, that patients will have atrial fib. We've developed the maze procedure. In 2017, we made that a class one recommendation such that if a surgeon is there for the mitral valve, in most cases, they should go ahead and treat the atrial fibrillation because it doesn't add to the risk of the procedure. Even though we recommend it, it still isn't done as often as we think that it should be. The new data that we just put out showed that it was only in about 35% of patients. Other data indicate that it's more like 50-50 or 60%. Here at Northwestern, it's 97% of patients with atrial fib with mitral disease will treat it when we're there. The procedure, from my perspective, went great. First of all, as far as my general fitness, I would say that I feel great. I can go upstairs, I can walk, I can run on the treadmill. I have no issues with that at all, no shortness of breath. With respect to the AFib, it has been gone for quite some time and has not come back. So Mr. Clinton is doing great, as do most patients that have this operation with the repair and the maze procedure. He's not had any further atrial fibrillation since the surgery, and his valve looks great more than a year out after surgery, and he's feeling better. Finally, I would say that, you know, I'm happy with the recovery and the procedure. It takes a while to regain your strength, but there's a, there comes a day when you wake up in the morning and you forget you ever had the problem with the mitral valve. You're back to where you were. I value the experience highly. I thought Dr. McCarthy cares about his job as much or more than anyone I've ever met in my life. I thought he's committed to his work. He cares about the quality of the work. He, you know, he continued to visit me in the hospital to make sure that I was all right and getting along well. I can't say enough good things about him. I really appreciate the effort he put in and the high quality of the hospital's care.